Welcome to Imagine It Down here at Imagination Station, joined once again by Chief Scientist Carl Nelson. And Carl, I, I think I have some idea of what we're going to be doing today, but it's going to be one thing to put it into action. That's right. We're going to make music. Excellent. And we'll talk a little bit of the science behind it as well. So um, here's a little, I don't know, brandy sniffer, I guess, wine glass. Go ahead and get your finger wet. And you, you've probably done this. If you, if you rub your finger around the top, go ahead and do it. Mm. I'm usually, I'm historically terrible at this. You got it, it's going a little bit. A little bit harder, a little bit more pressure. So your finger is sticking and slipping as it goes around the glass. And you get that, that beautiful sound, right? Now these glasses aren't identical. So if, if I do this one and then this one, they're slightly different sounds. And you know, what's happening is that the mass is different between these two glasses. And we can exaggerate that if I just like, you know, top this one mm -hmm. off with a little bit more water or quite a bit more water. We're changing the mass. So now let's see if we can hear the difference. A high pitch. Ooh, lower okay. pitch. And Dan, look in there. You can actually see the water vibrating yeah. along the edges. So when you add more mass to the system, you can think of it as having a little bit more inertia. It's going gonna, it's gonna to vibrate a little bit slower, okay. right? Uh, less mass, it's going to vibrate faster. And so that sort of leads us to the soda bottle or water bottle xylophone of sorts. So each bottle has a different amount of water. Now there's nothing special about their Perrier bottle. It's just, I like them because they come in two different sizes. And if you look down here, and if I tap this, this one has just a little bit of water. And so now I'm almost full. You've got the I scale going here. I can't add any more water to a small bottle. So I jump up to a bigger bottle and we get, you know, we So you can play music. Give it yeah, that's fantastic. Fun. I don't know if you're a, a musician or not, but um, what we're getting to happen yeah. here is the glass is vibrating. Simple enough. Perfect, <laughs> perfect. So the glass is vibrating, the amount of water changes the pitch. Now, the opposite can happen, and you've probably done this as well, if you blow over the top of a bottle. So this one has a long air column, right? Mm. Relatively low pitch. This one has a short column. Mm high pitch. It's just the opposite of the water. Now, is it mattering to which part's vibrating? I suppose the water's kind of vibrating with it, but then if you shorten this, it depends on what so it's two different medium things. you're getting. When we yeah. tap it, we're actually getting the glass to vibrate, and the glass and the water, okay? All of this one system. When we blow across it, it's the mass of the air column that's vibrating. So here I have a big column, so we get a low pitch, short column, high pitch. So, and it's just the opposite of the water, which is a kind of cool comparison there. Now, noticing here between these two, if you were to do the same, you know, blowing across thing, but there's less air here. Let's do it, let's do it. Okay, let me try this. It's really hard. Yeah. <laughs> I can't get that one. But, but it, 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 it does sound a little bit higher, yeah. Okay. All because that column's a little bit shorter. Now, one final thing you can do is you can, here I have three different bottles, three different liquids. So I'm keeping the volume the same, but watch this, if I go. Ooh, bottles okay. are the same, height is the same, volumes are the same, but this is ethyl alcohol, this is water, this is salt water. So if we were to weigh these, this would be lighter and this would be heavier because Salt water is more dense than ethyl alcohol. And that kind of goes in tandem with what we're, we're seeing here with regular water. The more mass you have in terms of the water in the glass or the more mass you have in terms of the air column, you'll have different pitches. Very so there's cool. some really cool science that goes into just something as simple as blowing over or tapping a soda bottle. I'm gonna have to, you're gonna have to drink, you know, eight soda bottles here at varying lengths and go, hey, great party trick. Yes, <laughs> this is some awesome stuff. All right, fantastic. I'm Dan, that's Carl, and all of this is how you imagine it.